How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we are taking on one final challenge for the LR God Goku uh, EZA, and that is using him on the Vegeta and Trunks' team uh, against the Omega Shinron. He's the only red zone boss we haven't covered, so we figured we'd mix it up a little bit and test him on a team where he doesn't necessarily have his full passive. He'll be 10% weaker than he normally would be on this team. So we're going to go ahead and set up here. Unfortunately, we did start, uh, had a little mishap with the recording, and it is our last try of the day. So we're going to make this work now god goku is sealed so we gotta pray that he dodges the two attacks over there uh in the middle but i think we should be all right um unfortunately i didn't want to have to grab these but we kind of need super saiyan 2 goku to get off the super here all right here we go So we're down a turn for build on him, right? It's it's crucial that he gets as much build as possible on the God Goku, and him not being able to attack this turn is actually hugely detrimental to us. And Vegeta and Trunks do take the super, although they did get two supers uh, from their 12 key. All right, nice. Okay, we can live with that. Um, at least we know God Goku won't be taking a super, so he just has to dodge the two hits. He dodges one of them. Okay, we'll take that. Now, hopefully, uh, Super Saiyan 2 Goku can get the hit off. Um, usually one of his better link partners is the LR Gods, but he does actually share three links with this Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So we'll use him to kind of fill out the links here, uh, simply just because a lot of his other partners between him and this Goku aren't as powerful on this team. And, of course, we don't get the stun. The turn we would have really, really, really wanted it. And, wow. Okay, so not only is Kid Goku sealed. This is just all around not a good turn for us. Okay. Let's see. We can grab that. Perfect. Uh, okay, I don't... Everybody on this rotation is kind of in a good space, so it's not really a big deal that we don't get... Kid Goku's seven key spheres. Alright, nice. Gohan picks up an additional super. Now, I feel like we don't exactly want to take him out. This I don't think we will, right? With Kid Goku not being able to super attack, I don't think we will. And our Vegeta and Trunks is only 55%, so as long as we get the one super attack with them, we can at least get one build out of the LR God Goku here. If we play our cards right, ideally we'll have at least four supers in by the end phase, which I think will be good enough. All right, we do have ultimate Gohan now. We did kind of bring him along since he is Fizz and his active skill will kind of help us in the final phase. All right, perfect. So actually this is a really, really good setup for us. So let's grab that. Uh, yeah, let's do that number. Alright, and... Let's see. Yeah, he should be fine. He's got his, uh... He's got his passive up, so we should be good here. Alright, so Vegeta and Trunks are fully built up from the attack, so now they just need to start stacking defense. Having God Goku in the middle, allowing him to build here, I think is really the best thing for us. So this is technically his first attack. It should have been his second, but of course, you know, with our luck, we did get sealed. And he gets the additional super, which is actually bad for Gohan. <laughs> wow, this really had to happen. Okay. So Gohan's just going to be kind of dead in the water for this fight. Okay, so let's see here. Are we... S you should be good with that. 
Grab that with the Gohan. Alright, and since this is the last run of the day, we're just going to go ahead and protect the Super Saiyan 2 Goku here. And let's, let's take that. Perfect. All right, perfect. Uh, our Vegeta and Trunks still need a little bit of build uh, on their passive, so having them take that one hit to get the 12 key worked out for us. All right, and they do take the super, so actually we didn't need the item because we could have made it out of this turn just fine, especially if Goku had gotten a double or triple super. Although knowing my luck, now that I've said that, he'll probably get just one. All right, nice. Gohan attacking twice again. I'll take that. So now, ideally, we'll drop below 70% before he comes back around. Yep, see, there's the one normal. Yeah, see, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so I am glad I used the Whis. Alright, so let's do that number. Let's grab that with the Vegeta and Trunks. Put that with God Goku. And is that perfect? We get the damage reduction with the Kid Goku. So this is actually... Pretty decent turn for us. Now, provided Kid Goku doesn't take the super attack, I think we'll be okay. Let's see here. Can we get the extra supers here? We did get... Oh, wow. Okay, we can't even get a crit. Oh, man. What is our RNG? And Are we seriously about to have to... We're, we're going to have to because Gohan's passive is out. And he is basically a sitting duck right now. But if we do this right here, we can be effective against all types. And hopefully we can actually take him out with Gohan. Unless, of course, that happens. <laughs> I... This this is astounding. I, I don't think I've ever had this bad RNG on red zone runs. I... I wow. Omega, Broly, and the Cooler Core today have done this to me. That is simply amazing. Alright, we get the extra super. Wow, we really lost out on a lot of damage there. Oh my goodness. And we can't even... Okay. Let's do that number, and let's do that. Hopefully we can take him out this turn. We have no more items, so we'll have to no item it through the final phase. I think we'll be okay since most of our units are fizz, um, but still. The fact that we even had to do that this phase is just ridiculous. Uh, we had another day of red zone runs where Broly just decides he's going to super either turn one in the AoE phase, which doesn't help us at all. Um, or we actually had a crazy run. I, sh I should have saved it where he just decided to uh, not super any time I needed to revive and finally super the one unit who couldn't handle it in the final phase. It's kind of crazy. And we just are not going to take this guy down, are we? Wow. No additionals when we need them. All right, let's see here. All right, this is it. This is make or break. We either get it now or we don't. Let's grab that and hopefully, perfect. We get the seven. So at least we have a little bit of damage reduction from the Goku here. 
Not that either of the first two units here needed. Gohan, now that he's kind of fully built up, it will be just fine even in this phase. And if we can get lucky and he can get a crit, uh, we may actually make it out of this turn all right. Unless, of course, he takes a super, in which case, we're done for. There's the crit, and there's the additional super. All right, Gohan pulling through for us. I forgot how much I do love this rotation. There it is, perfect. Okay. All right, so we are in the final phase here. I am going to save Gohan's active skill. I do want a little bit more build in him. We're gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab that. Um, we know he's not gonna super this turn, so it is okay to wait a bit. Ooh, of course, he, again with the dodges. <laughs> the turns we don't need them to happen. Alright, at least we pick up the two additionals on the 12 key. I'll take that. So this is kind of... I think at this point, Goku's fully built up, right? This will be turn 5 with this super, so... I think this is about as good as we're going to get. <laughs> um, not too bad on this team. I mean, he's not the worst ever. Um, he definitely looks a lot better on a full hybrid or pure Saiyans team. Okay, not bad, though. Post-Super, he takes only four digits from Omega. I'll take that. All right, now, Gohan, I really need you to get a couple additionals here. There we go. Okay, so now we can comfortably use his active skill uh, next time he swings around. Assuming we make it that far, actually, with him hitting all three Supers this turn. It's actually kind of good for us. Nice. Okay, so honestly, not that bad, considering all things considered. Now, unfortunately, we are not going to get the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, I was hoping to be able to use him with the God Goku, as they do share quite a few links, but I guess that's not going to happen. We will get the Dokkan attack here with the Vegeta and Trunks, though. Oh, wow. That moved way too fast. Alright, so if things go well, hopefully we take him out this turn. It's one attack, we get the additional normal. Okay, so there's a good chance he's supering Gohan. In fact, it's highly likely he's about to super Gohan. Which I feel like we've tested this before. I think since we're at full health, he'll survive. Oh, no. Okay, he's supering Goku. Goku, you absolutely need to get an extra super here. Because I think even at type advantage, we still die to this if he only gets one. There we go. I'll take the crit. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Really? And there it is. So an extra super would have absolutely taken the Omega down, but we just decided we weren't going to take it. Oh, wow, we survived. Okay. Well, then. Um, okay, so Goku now does not have his passive active because we are past turn 10, so... Um, lucky us, because of the Dokkan attack, we are back at full strength, though. Um, what is it? It's now a medium chance to dodge, right? Yeah, medium chance, so there is no way I am putting him in front, so we'll just go ahead and grab that. Alright, let's grab that, and grab that with Goku. So Vegeta and Trunks will have to finish him off, but I am not risking a medium chance to touch there. <laughs> um, that will absolutely get us killed, even with our defense kind of where it's at. That will absolutely get us killed.
All right, so there is God Goku against the Omega Shenron. I gotta say that's uh, he is pretty good on Vegeta and Trunks' team here. Um, I feel like things could have gone a lot better for us. Um, had things worked out a little better in the beginning, but us having to float him off early it, because he was one on the wrong rotation and two sealed just really, really doesn't help us at all. Um, Oh, wait, no, we didn't float him off. He was just sealed straight away, right? So having that seal straight away really, really hurt us in the long run, unfortunately. Um, we also weren't able to kind of really get the turn with him and the Super Saiyan 3 Goku together, uh, which I think could have worked, but we never really fell below the threshold when we really needed to. Um, I got to hand it to Goku, though. After one Super, he survived Omega Super, so good for him, um, but all in all, uh, I think you could still safely run this guy on this team. He won't exactly be at his full potential, but, you know, he still did pretty well. He tanked Omega's hits post Super pretty well, and I, I think that's good enough, especially if you manage to get an extra Super out of him on those turns. So, anyways, guys, that's the video. If you like the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not all ready and in the comments down below let me know have you tried god koku on any teams where he isn't up to his full potential like vegeta and trunks here if you did i'd love to know how it went and uh let me know in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha